Terrell Thomas, these Urban Times, and on this edition of Sideline Stories, as always, I'm joined by my wonderful duo, making us a trio, Brandon, Trish, Craig Armstrong. So yo, great yo. to be talking with you gentlemen again today. As we all know, the NFL season kicks off tonight slash this week, as we'll have games on Thursday night. We'll have games on Sunday and two games as far as the Monday night doubleheader is concerned. So a weekend full of football as we kick off week one of the 2020 season. Before we kick off the season, though, of course, we had to dive into our predictions. We want to talk about who we have as the MVP, who we have as the rookie of the year, and our Super Bowl picks, our head versus our heart who our heart wants us to see in the Super Bowl versus what the knowledge and research that we've done sees us, we see being in the Super Bowl. Craig, I'm going to start with you on this one. Um, My picks, you know, they, they, they don't vary too much. I'm going to go with Patrick Mahomes as the MVP for damn sure. I'm actually going to go with, with, uh, with Jared Judy as the, as the rookie of the year. Uh, um, I do think your man, uh, Brandon, uh, Clyde Edwards, I hope I say his name right. I think he has a strong chance, strong chance, the way he's going to be utilized in that system uh, to be the rookie of the year. And quite honestly, he may take that over, Judy. I just think that uh, his production, uh, once he actually hits the field, Jerry, is going to be amazing, uh, him and Drew Locke. I think Drew Locke might have found uh, been able to be blessed with a secret weapon. Super Bowl wise, uh, my heart, of course, is going to have my Philadelphia Eagles. I'm actually going to go with a, a repeat uh, uh, of what kind of what I was thinking last year with an Andy Reid Super Bowl of having uh, Carson Wentz versus Patrick Mahomes, the Eagles versus the Chiefs, and uh, the Eagles, the Eagles winning another Super Bowl in a shootout. My head, however, is telling me that uh, we might get a Bill Belichick Super Bowl where we might see Tom Brady. Uh, going up against the New England Patriots. I, I, th- I think a lot of cats are still sleeping on the Patriots. Uh, we know what Bill Belichick can do. I think we're going to see a new, healthier, uh, eager, hungry Cam Newton. And I think in the, in the Patriots system, if it came down to diving on that ball, he's going to make that play and dive on that ball. So I'm going to go with, uh, my, in, my, in my head, I'm going to say uh, Tampa Bay be- becomes the first team to host the Super Bowl, with the Super Bowl being in Tampa Bay this year. And we get a Brady versus Belichick or Brady versus Cam Newton Super Bowl. And uh, the Patriots pull that one out right there. Craig, what, who do you like and who do you have as your MVP this season? MVP, I'm going to go with uh, – I'm going to go with Patrick Mahomes, man. Uh, I'm going to go with him. I just think he's going to put up video game numbers, you know. And uh, I, it's, hard to, it's hard to bet against that, man. It's hard to bet against him right now. I think he's just going to put up crazy numbers. That's my MVP. Okay. Who do you have as your rookie of the year? Rookie of the year, I'm torn, man. I'm torn. I, I, my, my heart wants to say Tua, but I know he ain't starting to see. <laughs> so, but um, man, I, I think it's gonna be a, a Chase man, out there in Washington. Man, I think he's gonna put up big sack numbers this year. I think he's going up against the Eagles, the Cowboys. You know, what I'm saying the Giants. A lot of young quarterbacks with a, a, with outside of the. Uh, Outside of the Cowboys, they have inexperience on the tackle. You know what I mean. So, I think he he has a chance. He's he gonna be one on one most of the time because, like we already said, they have Sweat and Johnson Allen and Darren Payne and Ryan Kerrigan and all them still on the offense. I'm defensive line, so I think he'll have a shot to really be one on one beat your man. Okay, okay. And who who do you have in the Super Bowl? Let's start off with your heart. Who's your heart having the Super Bowl? I mean, my heart, man. You know, I got the Falcons. I got the Falcons redeeming themselves against the Patriots. Beat okay, the Cam. okay. Um, my head. Uh, my head, for some reason, man, I, I think the Seahawks are going to do something special this year. Um, I think them getting Josh Gordon back, uh, hopefully he'll be in shape. But that and, uh, and uh, getting the safety out of uh, – out of the, uh, Eric, what, what's buddy's name? LSU. Jamal, don't like you don't know his name. Jamal, hey, like you don't know he, his name. He ain't, won, he ain't won nothing yet, so I don't know. He was a Jets. Hey, that's his problem. But yeah, I, I think I think the Seahawks are gonna do special, and, and I, I I guess I'm gonna go with Seahawks versus the uh, Ravens, and I'm gonna take the Seahawks in that. All right, all right. Brandon, you're up now. You're up right now. Who do you have as your MVP this season? I'm uh, going with Lamar again. Okay. Like, back to back. To back. So he's back gonna, he to back. He's gonna, he's gonna have, he's gonna have back. better numbers this year because he's gonna, he gonna throw more. He'll throw more touchdowns and, and uh, have more passing yards than he had last year. 
I don't think he's going to. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I don't think he. I don't think he's going to have. He's not going to. I don't think he'll have a thousand yards rushing like he did last year. He may. I mean, he may. I, I don't think he would, but hey, I'll be happy if he do. Uh, rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. I'm gonna go Joe. Okay, a great pick, Joe Burrow I'm go out there, Joe. Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go Joe. Hey, I, hey, I'm gonna cheer for Joe every time, except for two times a year. So <laughs> he, got, he got the weapons. He got he got the weapons, so hey, I have been seeing I've been seeing what they've been talking about or uh, how he's been at practice. You know, he's been staying late and you know, at, at like a real vet. I mean he kinda had extended extended time. So yeah, deep, deep definitely deep dive into the uh playbook. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm eager to see what Joe gonna do. Uh AJ Green has to stay healthy. Yeah, he, yeah. AJ Green has to stay healthy. Uh Joe Joe Mixon gotta stay healthy. You know, he just got paid. He's a who? Get your offensive line together. Yeah, definitely. Get, yeah, if he can stay. Yeah, well, definitely. John Williams coming back. Oh, that's yeah, that's, that's a that's, big look. Yeah, that's that'll, 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 that'll definitely help. Big and uh, also, the, the good thing with Joe is Joe is not is not a stationary quarter a stationary quarterback. So it's not like he's going to just be sitting there and just you know get smacked up like some quarterbacks do. They be first round or first uh, number one picks and stuff. And my heart for I mean, of course, we all know Baltimore. Uh, first is uh, I'm gonna go to the Saints. Mm. I know he'll. Yeah, I mean this this ain't last shot. This is their last shot. <laughs> the last one, the last of Mohicans, and we are gonna win the Super Bowl. But uh, I my my head, I'm gonna go the same the same uh route that Craig got. Okay, but we are gonna win. So the battle the battle of the black quarterbacks, and you know. We're gonna do the same thing to them that we did last year. So that that one you got you going uh Seattle versus Baltimore? Seattle versus Baltimore. Okay. Matter of fact, Craig, don't y'all play Seattle? Don't y'all play Seattle this week? Yeah, we're gonna dog walk them though, though. I ain't worried about that. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh and, but, but before <laughs> I let you let y'all go from, from this particular topic here as we speak in our predictions, I, I do wanna sneak one more in and I wanna ask about a surprise player. Who do you think will be a surprise player this year that folks aren't really paying attention to, but they will. Um, I actually like what they're doing in the desert. We mentioned a minute ago DeAndre Hopkins. I'm going to go with Kyler Murray in, uh, in his second season. Uh, Is I that think. a surprise, though? Huh? Is that a surprise, though? He just, did he just win rookie of the year? Yeah, um, not a surprise. I, I do think it's – the reason I say a surprise, a lot of folks I don't think really are giving Kyler the, the credit that he should – uh, received like he did play a, a extraordinary under the circumstances. No real weapons last year. No disrespect to Larry Fitzgerald. Um, we, we just know he's towards the twilight of his career. First year head coach and Cliff Kingsbury, who was under a lot of scrutiny in the beginning, but he also seemed to get his footing and uh, get his play calling together. Together, excuse me, as the season went along, and with him actually having a, a real weapon in D Hop now, I think we will look at him in the lights of a Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson. Uh, Lamar Jackson, a cat that's versatile, can run and pass the ball. But I think he has an extreme football IQ. Of course, Craig and Brandon, you're very well aware. He also is a baseball player. Um, you know, no disrespect to any other athletes, but I just I have I have a lot of respect for cats who do the dual sports and baseball being one of them because that's a thinking man's game. It's almost like chess on the on a on a field or on a diamond. You gotta you know, factor in so many things. What's this person going to do? That person going to do what I'm going to do. It's so many things. I think that helps uh, him at the quarterback position, i.e. Patrick Mahomes. We see him excel at the quarterback position as well. So I, I do think Kyler Murray is going to be a surprise that is going to get a lot more national love and, and possibly, possibly, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but possibly get a few votes in the MVP race this, this season. I don't see him winning it, but I think he'll get a few votes if he can get that team over, I say, seven and nine and seven or, and maybe be creeping and sneaking in looking at the playoffs. Brandon, I'm going to start with you on this one right here. Who do you got as a surprise this year? Surprise? Dang. I want – I don't want to be a homer because I was I wasn't gonna say Hollywood, but no, that's I mean, that's who you got. You know what? Got, I'm gonna I'm go I'm gonna go Hollywood. Okay, okay, Hollywood, go Hollywood Brown, wide receiver of the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, yeah, I was I'm gonna go Hollywood because you know he, he was number one receiver taken last year. He didn't have a bad year as rookie year in dealing with uh, coming up the foot injury, so now he done added 23 pounds of muscle. Uh, he's fully healthy, and he can do the same as you were doing in Oak, in, uh, in Oklahoma. So I think I think Hollywood will definitely have a breakout season. I was I was tempted to say Derek Carr, 
for some, I was tempted to say Derek Carr, okay. just because of getting Henry Ruggs and and this is last time. So because we already know John Gruden don't really want him there, but you know he ain't played bad last year. Okay, that's gonna be Mark's job I have with you this season. That's, that's why I wanted to he's say him. Healthy. He hurt right now. He 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 on the IR, so he got like that's why I'm halfway. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got, Craig? Who, who's the surprise you see this this upcoming season? Matt Ryan. You know what? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Actually, I need who, who who do we get from y'all? Tight end? Hayden Hurst. Uh, Hayden Hurst. Hayden Hurst. That, that is it. He's going to make the Pro Bowl this year, boy. Yeah, he don't block either, but you know that. That ain't no problem. We don't need him to block. We need him to when Julio and Calvin getting double covered. We just need you to find the soft part of the zone, get your, get your yards up. Get I, these first I was, mad. Keep, I was mad about him leaving. I'll say that I was mad about Thor leaving. That's a great hey. pick right there. That's a, I, I think he's a cat that folks are sleeping on. So that's that's a great pick right there. The way up, for that numbers on people. Yeah, but you got, hey, also hey, y'all got tired girls. So you need him to block, and Hayden not that's not his forte, per se. The block. We'll figure it. Out. We'll, yeah, we we'll got we got bank up we'll tight We'll figure it. Out. We'll see. <laughs> Craig, let the people know where they can check you out via social media. Oh yeah, man, you can check me out everywhere. Chevelle Cruz. C H E V E L L E C R U Z, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Brandon, let us know where they can check you out, good sir. Yeah, man, y'all catch me at uh, everywhere. C E O Trish, that is C E O T R I C H E. All the news and all def- I'll speak definitely all the sneaker news. King Kicks A T L K I N G K I K I C K Z A T L. Instagram, Twitter, all the sneaker news, baby. Make sure you stay locked in and stay tuned to TheseUrbanTimes.com. Also, make sure you check out live di- LiveHipHopDaily.tv for the latest in hip-hop news and things that are going on in that realm. Follow me as well on social media, Elorado2452. And check out These Urban Times on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at These Urban Times. Stay locked in. We'll be bringing you a lot more NFL news as the season progresses. Lamar for president. <laughs>